Hey, how's it going today? And I'm going to show you how to access your Fortnite character with the worst code and how to adjust the player's property. So it looks something like this. If we go start game, I'm invisible to start with for 10 seconds and I'm just running around invisible, which is pretty cool. Very cool, actually. And then there's my player character. You can see here. Now keep an eye in the lower left. You're going to see my shield go up to a hundred and then if we just wait a little bit you'll see the shield drop I'm gonna take 10 on the damage and then the next thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see my player health drop by 10 just like that for no good reason and then you're gonna see the player health scale adjust to 200 so it's gonna double and I'm gonna have 180 on my health all of a sudden because I just set the max health and then you're gonna see my shield get restored to a hundred and that's it it's really powerful way to control your player and then start implementing functionality to affect the health affect shields all different kinds of things really pretty easy through the verse code so I'll be back in just a minute to show you how to do this Okay, so to get started on this, I'm just in a blank island template, and I'm just going to delete one of these spawners. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the Verse Explorer, left-click, right-click, and create a new Verse file. I'll just leave it called Hello World Device and go Create and Save Selected. It just takes a minute to do. And then we can just click here to open our Verse file. And then I'm just going to go ahead. I have the code for this already written. So I'm just going to select this. Go up to the first line. I'll go into Notepad. I'm just going to Control A, Control C. Come back in here. And go Control V. And I'll just go over this real quickly. The main part of this code is I have all these modules. I'm in the habit of bringing them in now just routinely rather than it saves a lot of time. And then it says here's our hello world device on begin play suspends allows us to use time functions which they call async functions and these four lines of code are basically what we need to access our fortnite character so and you'll notice that we need the associated module like to do the play space we need to have this fortnite.com play spaces to get the fortnite character we need this fortnite.com characters what this one does this first one does is it it basically creates a play space that we call with the variable play space and I want to make a point of something is if you look at different tutorials it seems like there's kind of standardized how they call these but you can call these or these are the variable names so you don't have to call this play space you don't have to call this all players and I deliberately call it Chucky just to show you that you don't have to call it Fortnite character to me it gets confusing because you'll have this fort character here some people call this Fort Character 2, and it just starts getting confusing. So, and this this doesn't, it's just called First Player, but it's only because we're accessing the first element in the array. So this might not be the best name, depending on what player you're trying to access from the array. So in this case, since it is zero, it makes sense to call it First Player, but it might just make sense to call it Array Player. If I put this to a one, of course, it's not going to work because there's only one player in the game, but these names, you can name them anything you want. Then what this does is this all players, it gets all the players that are in the play space and puts them in an array. That's what these brackets do. And then this one, we access our player from the array and assign as the name first player. So that's what this does. This accesses this array that we created up here in all players. And then on the next line, we take our first player variable that we created and we assign basically our Fortnite character to it. It gets the Fortnite character and then we assign it to the variable name Chucky or whatever name you wanted to, Banana Girl or whatever you wanted to call it. Instantiates our Fortnite character as an object reference named Chucky or whatever name we want. Now here are all the commands, different commands. And if you want to know what all of them are, you hit control and then hover on here and then it'll take you into the digest you have an idea of uh, the wider range of things that you can do to modify properties. So this is where we can hide the character. 
show the character, set the shield, inflict damage, set the health, set the max health, and set the shield again. And so one thing that's interesting about this is like with set health, you don't really need damage for health because you could just you would just set the health as the player did something that was taking away their health. And it's the same thing here. Like damage is kind of interesting because it gives kind of visual effect of the player being damaged, but you could also take away the shield power just by setting the shield value to like 90. So you wouldn't necessarily have to call damage to take away shield the shield. You just could reset the shield value. And you don't have to do anything to specifically take away the health. You just set the health to a lower value. So you would just call this. So anyway, it's just a fun way to kind of get familiar with all the things you can do. But you do need these four lines of code to access your Fortnite character. So once we have that, we just all we have to do is come in here and just go build versus code. And then here, we just drag it onto the scene. There's no other devices in here. And then we just go launch session. And just to show you that it works, we'll, I'll come back in just a minute. Here we are in the game, and we start out invisible again. And I think this is cool because you could make your character invisible, and then there they are again, appearing. I got that banana pack for free because uh, there was that delay of, I guess, trying to get logged into Fortnite. Okay, and then you see the shield <laughs> is up to 100. And now you're going to see I was inflicted 10 off my shield there. And then again, the health will drop down 10 points. It's kind of cool to have this much control over things. Like, it really is cool. Like, if you were in Unreal Engine, it would take a lot of time to set up all this stuff. Like, to set up this HUD and with the health and the progress bars and all that. And it's kind of cool in here how easy it is to do. And as I see versus, as C++ is to Unreal Engine... I see Verse as to Fortnite. So it's kind of interesting how Unreal Engine has C++ and now Fortnite has Verse. The similarity is really trippy. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found it helpful. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.